morning everybody how are you all i hope you're all okay you're staying safe indoors and having a good time with your family i've been quite busy or trying to keep myself busy i've done some baking and some reading so today i'm going to continue with my reading and i'm going to read a little story with you called the invisible string by patrice cast Liza and Jeremy, the twins, were asleep, warm, calm and quiet night. Suddenly it began to rain very hard. Thunder rumbled until it got so loud that it woke them up. Mummy! Mummy! they cried out as they ran to her. Don't worry you two, it's just the storm making all that noise. Go back to bed. We want to stay close to you, said Jeremy. We are scared. Mum said, you know, we're always together, no matter what. But how can we be together when you're out here and we're in bed, said Liza. Mum held something right in front of them and said, this is how. Rubbing their sleepy eyes, the twins came closer to see what Mum was holding. I was about your age when my mummy first told me about the invisible string. I don't see a string, said Jeremy. You don't need to see the invisible string. People who love each other are always connected by a very special string made of love. But if you can't see it, how do you know it's there? asked Liza. Even though you can't see it with your eyes, you can feel it with your heart and know that you are always connected to everyone you love. When you're at school and you miss me, your love travels all the way along the string until it, I can feel it tug on my heart. And when you tuck it right back, we will feel it in our hearts, said Jeremy. have an invisible string Liza asked sure he does said mum and best friends like me and Lucy asked Liza how far can the string reach anywhere and everywhere said mum would it reach me even if I were in a submarine in the ocean asked Jeremy oh yes said mum even there mountain even there a dancer in France even there a jungle explorer even there said mum and how about an astronaut out of space yes even there said mum and then Jeremy quietly asked can my string reach all the way to Uncle Brian in heaven. Yes, even there. Does the string go away when you're mad at us? Asked Liza. Never, said Mum. Love is stronger than anger. And as long as love is in your heart, the string will always be there. Even when you get older and you can't agree on things like which movie to see or what game to play in the back seat or what time to go to bed. Oh, that's right. You two should be in bed right now. And with that, they all laughed as Mum chased the twins back to their beds. Within a few minutes, they were asleep even though the storm was still making the same loud noises outside. And as they slept, they started dreaming of all of the invisible strings they have and all the strings their friends have and their friends have until everyone in the world was connected by invisible strings. And from deep inside, they now could clearly see 
that no one is ever alone. Well, girls and boys, I hope you liked the story. I thought it was quite appropriate and really nice. So I want you to always remember that you're never alone. You've got a little invisible string coming all the way from your heart, all the way to school, in between your and your friend's hearts, in between your heart and your teacher's heart, and the family that you can't go and see at the moment. So remember, you're never alone. And we can't wait to see you again soon. Bye.